Okay, so uh, so Dee Dee Gardner and, and Emmanuel Levesky, thank you for uh, for bringing your film to the RAP screening series. Um, Dee Dee, what was your first when when you and Brad first heard about this? It, I'm sure he didn't say to you. It's a movie about growing up in Texas and it has dinosaurs. I mean, what was your, your first... No, it started a lot, uh, many years before that. We were um, talking to Terry and Sarah about a different project, and Terry started talking about this movie as a, as a movie he intended to get made one day, and we said we would be honored to try and help him protosaurially. And so we were involved for years before Brad then, sort of fairly late in the game, actually decided to star in it. But um, that is a different part of the evolution. <laughs> Thank you for making that <laughs> right. So, Shiva, did he talk to you about it when you were making New World, or when? No, no, no. He called um, many, many months after, and he uh, said he wanted to show me a script, and he sent a few pages, probably five pages very beautifully written, but you know, it was a, 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 an outline of the film. And he asked me if I was interested in doing the movie. So, of course, there again, we'll do whatever you, you do. Mm -hmm. I, I saw a phrase, and I don't know if it was your phrase or his, where it was something about you need to work on the edge of catastrophe when you're, when you're working with... Yeah, with I, I don't know if he said it exactly like that, but he meant something like that. Right. So, and, so uh, what does that mean? That's what he encourages everybody to do. It, it, it means push yourself to the limit and try to, uh, you know, don't worry if you mess up. I won't use the, the things you are, uh, uh, the things you don't like or the things that make you feel bad and, and just push yourself. Mm -hmm. So, Didi, as as a producer, when you're working with with a director who is so sort of daring and, and unconventional, I mean, what what is your job as a producer? Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'd like to think it's it's true of of um, you know all real filmmakers. You your job is to protect their vision and their voice and and their ideas and create a harbor that feels safe and. Uninterrupted and un uncorrupted by process and any intention that has something to do with other than the movie. You know, release dates or money or demographics or none of that matters. It's only about the pro the, the film. Mm -hmm. Have you ever shot a film before where you, where basically you have the neighborhood and and no, no, I've never done anything like this movie before, and, uh, and I'm almost sure that. Most people haven't had a, you know, a, a, an experience like this. It was very special, and and uh, it's uh, part of this again the idea of theory of, uh, I guess, um, yeah, creating a, a mood, creating a feeling, creating an environment that allows you to explore and to uh, to make a movie that feels found as opposed to. Uh, it doesn't feel rehearsed or anything like that. And and having that neighborhood and having PD and Brad and Jack and all these people involved made it possible. Mm -hmm. There must be real risks though when when you are exploring like that that, that you're going to. Yeah. Well, we shoot a lot of film and we make <laughs> a lot of mistakes. <laughs> and uh, and uh, but you have Terry there and he's watching your back and he's only going to use what it's important and those parts that are, that are expressive and that have uh, the right emotions and so you if you trust him completely he'll he'll make this this thing. Right. As you're shooting the movie, I mean do do either of you do you know what it's going to look like? Do you know how it's going to all come together? No. You don't. I think you believe that the end result will have the same feeling as he originally intended and discusses and talks about but beyond that that's the journey that's the fun part mm -hmm. so you you didn't know how the work the work that you were doing was going to be used well you, you never know which scene is going to make it in the movie sometimes you know in the script you read this a scene and you think it's an important plot point and that it's essential to tell the story and then 
you know, Teresa says, don't worry, I don't, I don't care if I don't get the scene. The important thing for me is to capture a certain emotion or a certain mood. Or, and, um, and many times we, we fail, I would say. A majority <laughs> of the times we fail. But these exquisite moments that we got are, are in the film. Mm -hmm. So can you, can you tell us anything about the, the next Malik movie that you shot? The next, well, it's it's a very, very different movie. It has nothing to do with this movie. We use some of the, the dogmas, some of the same ideas in terms of how to use the cameras, similar approaches, but uh, the movie is completely different. This, in, in a way, it's much more, it's a simpler movie, it's a simpler story, but, uh, um, uh, but but that's that's what I can say. Right? Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen it. And and you know what I saw a couple months ago, in two months from now, might be completely different. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for your time, and and congratulations on the success of this one. Thank you.